Welcome to episode 5 of Hearts of Gold, where today we're taking on Hibs in the Edinburgh Derby. I hope you're looking forward to today's episode then, guys. It's massive. Hibs is the team that we just have to beat every single game to please the fans. Rangers is also a very big fixture, of course, but if we have to pick one of these to win today, it's going to have to be the Hibs game. Before I get on with today's episode, though, I'd just like to draw your attention to this video that I released a couple days ago where I simulated the FIFA World Cup, the 2018 World Cup, 100 times on FM18. It took me a long time. It took me two weeks to, to put this video together, so I'd appreciate if you go and check it out. It really is quite interesting, the results that we saw. So how have I been getting on lately with Hearts? As you can see from the league table, we're in third. We've been going strong, I must say. And we're only three points behind Rangers now because they have lost their first game of the season. We've only lost two, and that is against Celtic and Rangers, the teams we're expected to lose against. We've drawn two matches, once against Aberdeen, that's an expected result. Dundee wasn't so good because they're bottom of the table. So, yeah, but you tend to struggle against the bottom team in the league. I, I always tend to on Football Manager anyway. If we look at the recent fixtures, we are unbeaten since that Rangers match. In the last episode, of course, we drew against Aberdeen, got a late winner against Hamilton. And we followed that up with a comfortable 3-1 win away from home against Partick Thistle. Zoom scored a penalty, Christoph Berra scored, and Ross Callaghan scored coming off the bench very late on. We then... This was disappointing. 2-2 draw against Dundee, like I said. Don Cowie opened the score and they got two goals. One was very late, but Prince scored a sensational strike to grab as a point. So let's have a look at this very late equaliser from Prince. Boom! That is a goal and a half. I like that one. And then a pretty comfortable 2-0 win away from home against Ross County, thanks to two goals from Lafferty. And this was the... Well, Naismith is back. Naismith is back. It's huge news. I'm so pleased to see him back, but Carl Lafferty keeps on scoring. Sorry if you hear some shouting kids in the background. I do live near a school, and at this time... Why am I recording at this time? I should know better. Naismith got his first goal of the season against St. Johnston. It was a, a massive game because I think they were third going into this. They've dropped... Uh, maybe not. They, they were third for quite a long time, actually, in, at the start of the season. But, yeah, really good win against St. Johnston. At home, our first home game for a few matches, and Naismith with the winning goal. But Lafferty didn't have a particularly good game today. I subbed him off. This is the match preview ahead of this Hibs game. They are currently down in fourth place. They're four points below us. Even if they beat us today, they'll still be behind us in the league. But we have to be beating Hibs. We just have to. There's no excuses. We're in excellent form, as you can see there. One thing I've forgotten to mention, Adele is out injured, and that's a bit of a blow. He's out for th up to three weeks, as you can see there. He's, he's our defensive midfielder. I'm having to play Zoom there. He's probably the best suited player in that role, other than Adele. I did try to, to find a defensive midfielder. I just couldn't really find one. Uh, I suppose Mallory Martin could play there. No, Zoom's better. Zoom's better in there. So this is the team I'm going with. It's great to see Naismith and Lafferty up front together there. And Amanqua as well. That's the three that I wanted in our attacking third of the pitch. And... Hopefully, it will be good going for us. Bear has just got back from injury, by the way. That's where his match sharpness is quite low. I'm playing Prince instead of young Harry Cochrane. I don't think he's quite ready. He, he, he's tidy on the ball, but he's not. He's nothing special at the moment. And I'll, but I'll give him game time. I'll bring him off the bench here and then. But he is a good player. He's an improving really, really well. Prince, of course, is his tutor, like I said in the previous episode. So hopefully he can... Um, Lead him to great things. I think Harry's actually got better passing already than Prince. Yeah, 13 to Prince's 12. Anyway, let's get on with this derby then. Come on, you jam tarts. Come on, you jambos. Let's do this. It's a similar looking formation, actually, from Hibs to us, except they don't have the winger. They're playing the classic Christmas tree formation, which I have had great success with on uh, old football managers in the past. I guess... Yeah, it's not too dissimilar. We've got three in the middle, but we've got a player playing deeper. Um, instead of a player here, we've got a Mankra out wide. I'm going to attack down that right-hand side of a Mankra, try and get some width, 
around their narrow looking formation. Don't know a huge amount about Hibbs. This is their striker front, a young 22 year old Swiss player, Scott Allen. I think I've heard of him. Oh, he's on loan from Celtic, that might be why. And a young Pole, Sebastian Simanski. So they've got some young players just like us, really. Now, what I am going to do is we're going to play a bit wide. We're going to go with balance but rather than narrow because, I mean, playing narrow against that Christmas tree formation, I don't think we'll have much success. Oh, I'm nervous because I don't want to let the fans down. This is our my first big derby. And in within one minute, Hibs are on the attack. We've got a, a key highlight already. Here they come. Oh, but it's intercepted by Prince. Prince knocks it up the pitch. Lafferty's never going to get on the end of that, is he? It's a poor ball from Prince. And now McGinn. I think I've heard of McGinn. He's a, he's a decent midfielder, isn't he? Here's a Manqua. Knocking it over the top and wide for Lafferty. Lafferty all by himself. Naismith trying to get up in support. Here he is. Oh, he's lashed it home. I was hoping this duo would, would work. And the early signs are positive. What a cross from Lafferty. But, I mean, Naismith, he's just smashed that, hasn't he? I know he's very close to the goal. And it is really about the cross. But still... You're not going to stop that in a million years, are you? Boom! 1-0 up inside a minute and a half. Isn't there a song about Lafferty that involves a flute? Yeah, I should I should look that up. We might, we might need to get that chant going. <laughs> Lafferty's been sensational this season. Anyway, half an hour in, still 1-0. Nothing else has happened up until this point. And here come Hibbs looking for an equaliser. It's out wide to Grey. Gray finds space, and this looks dangerous. Good defending by Suter, headed away, and oh, Zoom does very well. It's into the path of Lafferty. Amank was out wide. There he is. He's got the ball. Lafferty, lovely ball out wide to our wing back Mitchell. Cowie to Mitchell. Mitchell crosses it in. Back post. Amank, oh, it was lovely play. It's back to Randall. Randall. Lafferty. Oh, he's hit the bar, apparently. Playing Randall at right back now instead of Brandon. Gone back to Randall. Uh, seems to be working all right. Here's another highlight. Ten minutes before half time, oh, another goal will make me feel a little bit more comfortable. It's, oh yeah, <laughs> don't like these sorts of games. The pressure's on. I mean, if we win, we go seven points clear of Hibs as well. Remember, here they come though. This found space on the left hand side. This is very dangerous, and somehow it's not in the back of the net from like a yard out. I think Hibbs beat Hearts quite recently in real life, didn't they? I'm following Hearts on Twitter now. And I think I saw that they lost. I've not really paid attention to the the Scottish League for a long time. I used to always check Hearts' results or check how they were getting on in the league. But since, you know, the FM05 series, uh, series, I didn't do a series, my FM05 save when I was a young man, a teenager. But in recent years, I haven't, mainly because... Celtic have dominated Scotland and it's just been boring. At one point, I thought Hearts were actually going to compete at the top of the league. This is like 10 years ago, I know. But yeah, it all went wrong for them. They got relegated, of course. I don't know how they're doing this season. I should look that up. So Hearts are down in sixth place. They are currently 10 points behind Hibs and they play one more match. That's not good. Of course, the league splits in two, doesn't it, towards the end of the season. Uh, Celtic 10 points clear with a match in hand. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty predictable, isn't it? Ross County currently bottom of the table. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. This is our parallel universe. Hearts currently in third place. I'm going to change things up a bit. We're going to go to standard. Well, we'll see what happens. We've not really done much apart from apart from the goal. Both teams have been pretty boring, really. Oh, we've won a free kick in a dangerous position. Naismith knocks it in. Here's Manqua at the back post. What a save. And Manqua should have stuck that away. But somehow it's been kept out of the back of the net. Anyway, Cowie with the corner. Crosses it in. That's not a great corner. There's no one there at the near post. Naismith, though. Recycling possession. Berra. That's poor from Berra, giving the ball. That's dangerous. Oh, no. Someone tackle him. Someone tackle him. What a run. And that was a great counter-attack. They really should have taken advantage of that. Half an hour to go. We've not done anything in the second half. And Mank was not played particularly well. Going to leave him on for now, though, I think. Mitchell with a free kick. Knocks it into the box. It's not a great free kick, but Mitchell... Can he pick that up? He does. He does well. Look at this. This is a brilliant situation. A Manqua. A Manqua. Oh, why did it have to be him that had the final shot? We had Naismith and Lafferty there, and it had to fall to a Manqua. 
that was a real opportunity. A real, real opportunity. Let's play Cowie out wide as a wide midfielder on support. And Martin can play in the middle as a deep line playmaker on defend. Oh, I'm just trying to hold out for this win now. We've not both teams haven't played particularly well, but I can see them getting an equaliser. It's a derby. A late goal is on the card, surely. Okay. A couple more changes maybe. What I'm going to do is Naismith's going to go there. And he's just going to play as a lone striker. Defensive forward, basically. So I've moved Cowie over to the left-hand side. Brandon over has come onto the pitch to play on the right-hand side. And I'm just trying to hold on now. <laughs> Waste time. That's what we need to do. Grinding out games. That's what you have to do sometimes. Whether it works or not, we'll find out. It's going to work, I think. This should be the final whistle. We've, we've just smothered Hibs. We've smothered them. And we've managed to grind out a 1-0 win. That is... Oh. It wasn't pretty. But we just had to get the win against them, didn't we? That's all that matters in these matches. And everyone goes home happy from our side of Edinburgh anyway. So we do go seven points clear of them. And this is good. This is looking really good. Aberdeen, if they win, they'll be five points behind us. But we've got a bit of a cushion here. It's time to take on Rangers then. They're three points clear. They did get a win in their match in hand but if we beat them you know it's all to play for maybe we're going to have a battle with rangers for second place i think if they win this probably not and we're more likely to be fighting for third place so this really is quite a crucial match really we lost against them earlier in the season we're taking them on at home and it's the start of all these home matches that we have it's my birthday as well so let's hope that the players can give me a nice birthday present win um, i don't think there's any need to change things up to be honest uh, oh, you may have noticed I've moved Rory Curry into the first team, mainly because he is a target man. So he's kind of a good like for like replacement if Lafferty's injured or unfit. So I've stuck him in the first team. He's still playing in the reserves as well. Um, but he's probably more of a better player to play at front rather than Ewan Henderson, who's not really played particularly well, even though I've given him a fair amount of game time. We owe Rangers after what happened last time. That's what I'm going with. They're going with like a 4-4-2, but with two deep line players, as you can see there. Uh, previously, Candelas was very dangerous. Oh, they're not playing the chap that scored two goals against us, though, I don't think. Oh, Wes Fodderingham. I love him because his name's brilliant. Wesley Fodderingham. That is just such a fantastic name. I'm still going... I mean, we've got used to this tactic now, and that's why I'm keeping over the attacking tactic. Lafferty's through here. Lafferty! Oh, a clear-cut chance. Fodderingham, that man. Wesley, saving from Lafferty's strike. Here's Naismith, edge of the box. Carl Lafferty, another opportunity was muscled off the ball, though. That really was a chance for Lafferty. Oh, two injuries to Rangers all of a sudden. They've won a free kick. Candelas crosses it in, and that's a good header away by Christoph Berra. Now Lafferty into the path of Naismith. Naismith coming forwards. Look at him go. He's found a Mankwa. A Mankwa with the pace down the right-hand side. Crosses it in. This is a chance. Prince. Prince. Yes. Second attempt. He sticks it in the back of the net. Oh, we love Prince. Lovely, lovely stuff from us. What a counter-attack. We're 1-0 up against Rangers. It's all good. Look at this. Look at us all going forwards. It was we, we had to score from this position. A Mankwa put it in. There was four players in the box. Prince. He was heading it. Trying to find Lafferty. In the end... It came back to him, and he poked it into the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, it was actually Lafferty that got the assist, so he must have headed it back to Prince there. That was intentional from him. Pumped up the pitch by McLaughlin. Uh, we've certainly been a bit better at the back with McLaughlin in goal, to be honest. Here's Lafferty. Oh! Good effort from Lafferty. There's been quite a few highlights today. Rangers have only had one shot so far, but here's Candelas on the ball down the wing. This looks dangerous. Very dangerous, it's 1-1. Cummings scores. That was coming. Oh, highlight straight away from kickoff. And that can either be... Well, that might be a good sign. It, it, alternatively, it could be bad. Because here they come, looking for a, an immediate second goal. Uh, Morelos running it out wide. Just someone put a tackle in, for goodness sake. Randall heads that away well, but they're still on in possession of Jack. Finding the injured Murphy. They've kept them on, though. Here's Jack... Lovely ball out wide. Candelis, another cross, but McLaughlin has that covered. And he smashes it up the pitch. We've still got a highlight here. 
Who's this going to be for? Zoom finds Cowie. Naismith over the top for Lafferty. Another opportunity for him. Lafferty. Lafferty. Oh, you have to score those. <sighs> he does get a lot of chances. I don't know whether he's actually a good striker or not, to be honest. And he's just got injured. Why haven't I got Curry on the bench? Well, I was going on about Curry, and I didn't put him on the bench. I put Henderson on the bench. What am I doing? I'm actually going to move Naismith up there. Yeah. No, 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 no. Let's go with Henderson, but play him as the poacher, because that's what he's used to. He can play as a poacher. We're giving him one more opportunity. If it doesn't work out for him, then Curry is on the bench from now on. Why didn't I put Curry on the bench? I hope it's not a bad injury. I know I was just saying, you know, he's a little bit frustrating because I we give him so many opportunities. He is our top goal scorer. He scored plenty of goals. And that's what strikers are meant to do. You're meant to give them opportunities. They're not expected to score every single shot, I guess. But he's had two clear-cut chances today and he didn't take either of them and now he's gone off injured. And second half wise, do I need to change anything up? Mitchell's not having a very good game. Oh, the wing backs aren't having very good games, to be honest. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're going to stick with this. A draw's a good result against Rangers. Uh, a win would be marvellous because we'll be level with them on points. A defeat kind of makes me think that second place isn't going to happen this year. There's obviously a hell of a long way to go this season. Anything can happen. But these games are crucial. Cummings, this is going to be a second. Offside. Offside. The, the, the linesman sticks up his flag. It did look offside, to be fair. <laughs> Nothing much is happening. Which is probably good. Cowie's having a poor game. Uh, I'm actually going to bring on Cochran. Our young 16-year-old. Young Harry comes onto the pitch. Uh, we'll move Prince to the Mazzala role. Randall's going to come off. He's on a yellow. So that's going to be my last sub. Brandon is coming on at right back. Still got it on attacking, but Rangers have a free kick. It's crossed in, and it's kept out, and McLaughlin manages to scramble it to safety. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go down to stand. I can't see us winning this game, so we'll go standard and possibly hit them on the break. No, it's been a boring second half. Nothing's happened. But a 1-1 draw? I think that's a good result against Rangers. They they beat us in the other game. I know we got two red cards, but overall I'm happy with a point. I think that's that's what we both deserved. Four points again today in today's episode. Uh, Lafferty's out for three to four. Three weeks if I send him to a specialist. So that's what we're going to do. Bit of a below that, but it could be worse, I guess. Uh, we go... Eight points clear of Aberdeen, St. Johnstone and Hibs. They do have a game in hand, of course, as you can see there. Lafferty's now got moved down to joint second top goal scorer behind Bowman. He's the man to watch out for this year. So then in the next episode, we're going to take on Dundee. Bottom of the table, Dundee. And top of the table, Celtic. Contrasting fortunes there. So hope you're looking forward to that one. I'm going to play the matches against Kilmarnock, Partick Thistle, Ross County, Hamilton and Motherwell behind the scenes. Wish me luck for those matches. Lots of home matches, as you can see there. And Dundee and Celtic will also be at home. If you haven't done so already, please leave a like on this video. It would be very much appreciated. But until next time, enjoy FM18. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you very soon.